どんな矛も通さない最強の盾どんな盾も貫き通す最強の矛その最強の二つがぶつかればどうなるのか Here we go. ウアペです、えー、キャラはシーグルのイオリチェンリーザガットを使っています自分のスタイルなんですけどボタンを押さないレバー倒さない方が強いとカウン精度が高いとにかく高い無駄なことをしないのに傷たダメージを蓄積していて必ず相手を地面に這いつくばらせるはちょっと懐かしいんですけどあんまり強くなかったんですよね、まあ、気づいたらえもうトッププレイヤー中のトッププレイヤーになっていて彼は CVS の中で一番、えー、試合運びがゲーミングがうまいですね結構相手の、まあ、本当にボコボコにされてる人いっぱいいると思うんでこうやれば勝てるよっていうのがちょっと伝わればいいかなって思ってますどうもガオです K の、えー、ギースナコルルロックを使ってます本当に守りが硬いんですよ合理性の枠にとらわれない選択肢を混ぜてかく乱して勝ちたいと思います攻的攻め誰も思いつかないのことをする1点読みを通す力がすごいですよ相手の心を揺さぶるのが多分無双位置なんじゃないかなってぐらい特に KD 数がいいね火力面では多分ガオの方が多分無駄あるんじゃないかなって思ってますガオさんの攻めに対して上部君がどういうさばきをするのかってこれが本当に見どころだと思います最強の攻めと最強の守りが見れるんじゃないかなと思ってます絶対に勝ちます覚悟しておきます We out here Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Boss, you gotta get close to the mic. Get close to the mic. I'm gonna I'm boost you, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, two what's Japanese.、Up? Yeah, you gotta get, you gotta get up close and personal.、Yeah. What's going on, everybody?、Uh, welcome to ICMZ Special. A little bit late, but、uh, we had some. You know, man, we're, you, we're working with real hardware out here. We're in a goddamn bunker, man. Cut us some slack. <laughs> Yo, Ray,、uh, pump me some background music. So. If you're watching this, then you probably already know what's about to go down. You just saw the trailer. We put that out on Twitter.、Uh, this is going to be Uwabe versus Gao.、Uh, so, boss, you are Mr. CVS2, right?、Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> this, was,、uh, this was your idea. I didn't come、yeah. up with this match. Yeah. So, so this matchup is、uh, very good to show the people what is、like、CVS2. Because、uh, so the player choice is like. Um, Uabe is one of the strongest、like, Capcom side, CAP group, Capcom side player, and also like,、um, play size like, decent, like, old Street Fighter style. And also, like, Gao is、uh, using a K group, SNK group, and、uh, yeah, as many people explained, like, his attacking skill is、yeah, very, very good, crazy. So, like, no. Not a, Not like traditional, but like very like idea and original. Like, so, and also, like this matchup,、um, no character overlap. So,、um, hope、uh, you guys can watch、um, like very different、um, play style、uh, from the both two players. and、uh, Yeah, let's go in.、Uh, yeah, let's see what's going on. Yeah, awesome. This、yep. is,、uh, <laughs> like you said, it's two different styles, right? Two different grooves. Yes. C groove versus K groove. This is not conventional. I know you guys are used to watching first of four grand finals.、Uh, <laughs> it's R- Ricky and Kyle. I know you guys are used to all that stuff, but、yeah. this is、uh, a, little, a little bit different. Yep. C groove versus K groove. This is going to be all different characters, like you said. But what's interesting is. To me, the style clash. Yes. Uwabe is going to be a lot more. You know, you said something really interesting t- to me when we were talking about this matchup. You said the way to think about this match is K 
Capcom versus SNK. Yeah. Because Uwabe's style, especially with his characters, even though he has Iori on the team, with Chun Li, with Sagat, the way he has to play is much more focused on, I think, like grounded footsies, ground game, being able to use strong pokes that those characters offer. Yes. Clocking out with using C Groove adequately, right? Yes. For Gao, he runs all three of those S nasty SNK characters. He's got what? Geese, Nakaruru, Rock. He's got father and son on the squad. But Rock and Nakaruru, especially, I think uh, they have really good mobility, right? Being able to. Yeah, especially Nakaruru. Yeah, so yeah. you're going to use them. It's, yeah, Nakaruru, especially. We talked a lot about that. But uh, that real quick, before we get, get too into it, we got some uh, stuff to show y'all. First, big ups to everybody from Tenno to help the, hook this up, man. Taking playback in 3 2. That's on you, Rayo. Hey, okay, first, but before we get to that, uh, exclamation point support. That's going to be the key word in, this, in the chat. Guys, we only have one exhibition tonight. I'm not, uh, so we don't have too many opportunities to, to hustle, I guess, a little, or work, work the crowd a little as much. But if you guys could just spam that shit. Holy shit. What the fuck? Is, is that real? Did that really just happen? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? We, bro, we started late. We started late. All right. We, I got to run the names off, man. Scroll down. Uh, yo, Kev, thanks for putting in. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Chris, Chris Rune G, I see you. Kev, thanks again. Decoy Squid, Canned Afro. Kev. Yu-Gi-Oh! Rune G, Cab again, Machine Support, Sneak Man, Canned Afro, Metal the Hero. Damn, y'all really hit all these. God damn. Go to the donations. Yeah, Sushik did put much. $100 in. Yeah. Sneak Man put $25. Luminati always with the $5. Bro, we didn't even start the exhibition. Y'all put it over 1000 like that? God damn. Holy shit. Thanks so much. Captain Barbosa put $25 on it. Salty Cracker for 10 Beaky for 10 uh, Zentra Quill for five. Again, guys, this is going to the players, and this yeah. is going to Big One Arcade. Oh, Tabu, I saw you put a hundred on it for no reason. Holy shit! Uh, we'll come back to this because, guys, uh, this is the interesting thing about this this exhibition too. Is this is going to be character lock? It's going to be order lock. You're going to see some matchups played very often, but we're going to get to see them completely develop. The other thing is, after every five wins, they're going to switch sides. So during that time, we'll, I guess, have another chance to look at it. But holy shit. Thanks so much for putting this shit over. Y'all killed this shit. Absolute Calm with 20. Sneak Man for 25. Jeez, Proto Entity for 25. Happy Face Man, 25. Super Aceto, I see you for 35. Spider for 40. Shushington, Otabu, Fizzard Lace, 100, 100, 100. Welch has put 150. Decoy Squid gave $420. God damn. Y'all blew this shit out the water. Holy shit. But, yo, uh, oh, Big Coogie in the chat put all the asses together in the uh, the artwork. Yo, happy anniversary to, uh, to Broken Tear. I'm talking too much. Get the next slide. Next slide, Rayo. Yo, we got to give uh, big props, of course. Coogie in the chat, you know, representing Tenno, always hitting up the, always blessing us with the, the, the nasty layouts. But we got some nasty merch for y'all, man. Get these stickers. They dropped the price on them. I, actually, I take the bat. I don't know if they dropped the price off. I know I get less per, per pack. But anyway, avoiding the puddle, that's that's big errors, man. He deserves two packs. Got the big eggplant. Do what y'all do what y'all got to do, man. Buy the combos. Tasty Steve got the blue stuff. I got uh, some ignorant shit. Level up your game. I don't know. Rip got some weird hearts. I don't know what that's about. Hit the next slide. It's all about the new wave. Here we go. Jay Wong got the Cyclops going across the screen. You know who's on the other side? IFC. Yikes. Get that sticker pack. You have the Beam Wars going. And look, y'all, it's Black History Month. And what better way to celebrate than getting you one of the best color commentators in the business. Get that Say Jam pack. I, you could you post the, the weird one with his nose or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess Gion is all right. Get, the, get his pack, too. Next slide. <laughs> ICFC. Everything ICFC, guys. We're on, uh, we're on break right now. I'm the only one holding it down. But, uh, you know... There might be some cool stuff in the future. Uh, let's put it that way. Make sure you guys follow Tenno Media on Twitter, Tenno Media on YouTube, and Tenno Media on Patreon to stay up to date with everything that happens. Uh, we, we appreciate it. I'm going to come back to the commentary cam, and we can get ready for this thing, man. Go ahead and boot up that Shinokuma theme, man. You already know. 
All right, so we're going to get these player intros ready. Uh, yeah, but uh, can you wait a couple yeah, minutes? Yeah, Wabi uh, went to the bathroom? Yes, yeah. <laughs> and also next to go also go to restroom. Yeah, all right, just yeah. sit tight, sit tight, sit tight. Then we go back go back to the match arena. I can't believe they blew that up before the stream even started. Yeah, thank you. I was like, God damn. Yeah. <laughs> thank Stay you very based. much, guys. Yo, play that God Rugal, God Rugal thing. Stay based. I see you with the prime. Hell pockets in the bathroom? Hit taking play. <laughs> why, why did you say that? God damn, bro. I said put a... I said... I did not expect this. <laughs> God damn. Thanks for coming through, everybody. Holy shit. This was uh, most unexpected, for sure. Yeah, players getting ready. Just sit tight. About to do our uh, <laughs> our fake, fake entrance shit. Just sit tight, sit tight. Let me get the mic ready. Check the, uh, pop it on rail. Hit the switch on. Test, test, test. You guys can hear me, right? Y'all got me super nervous at the start, after the start of the stream. I'm like looking at every cable. <laughs> Shit. Yo, scroll up. Let me uh, let me read off the names real quick. Yo, decoy squid. Thanks again, Daniel. RGT for two hundred fifty dollars. Welch is with one fifty. Fizzer lace for a hundred. Otabu for a hundred. Shushington, I see you with the hundred. Big Pat the flip. Congratulations on that top. Hey Pat, you came a long way since o Old Maj and Obama stomping that ass at Combo Breaker, but you you did your thing at uh at, at Frosty. I see you, man. Let's get it. Let's get it back. No, let's run that rep two again. I see you, Pat. Thanks again, man. Grant Wang, I see you for the fifty. Uh, who else? Spider, thanks for the forty on it. Super Asolo, I see you for thirty five. Happy Face Mask for twenty five. We Strong for twenty five. Proto Entity twenty five. Captain Barbosa twenty five. Sneak Man twenty five. Blank twenty five. Canned Afro. Absolute Calm, Sir Bumble, Salty Cracker, 2020, 2010, Jub Jub putting $10 on it, F for Less putting $10 on it, Spinson, I see you for five, Zentraquil for five, Luminati five, Newman Extra, thanks for the $2, and everybody else who came through, hit up those uh, those code those code quests, much appreciated. Damn, that is crazy. I did not think y'all would put me over like this, but look, looks like the players are just about ready. We're going to go ahead and get these int intros rolling. So about to start the event. Mamonak Senshu no new job de gozaimasu. All good? Test, test, test. I should be good. So. Yeah. Fuck okay, it. Let's do it. <laughs> Studio game. All right. Not the most glorious at the start, but here we go. This is going to be uh, our C group player, right? So the theme of this matchup is the shield versus the spear. One of these players plays with really, really high intense offense. Is really good at being able to get in the other player's head. The other one is... A stone cold wall. 
最強のタッテ上部<笑> so if that is the shield, this is the if that's the immovable object, this is the irresistible force. Get that song changed, Rayo. Get that song changed. <laughs> <laughs> This is the irresistible force. Sakyo no Hoko. Go! <laughs> nice.選手の入場が完了しました。はい。とりあえず上部さん、あの上部さん、師匠向けにメッセージありますか？ あの、あの、Hey guys。Hey guys. こんにちは。知ってる英語これしかないんで終わりです。あの、ご紹介に預かりました。オールドスタイルのプレイヤーの上部です。ちょっと今回ね、もうこんな20年前のね、バグだらけのゲームをこうやって実写していただいてもありが
he's not just gonna go through the shield. He's gonna break it into pieces. Hi, so stay. 1P と 2P 決めるためにジャンケンをしましょう。最初のジャンケン。So, okay. Side. 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 You guys know CBS has some glitches, 2P side. So basically, like 2P side has some advantage, but、uh, yeah. That's why like, we're going to switch every five matches. Yeah, every five games they'll switch sides.、Yep. Hey, boss, can,、yep. you, can you tell, tell, the ch- tell people watching、yep. what, what you told me just now? Saki, <laughs> what did you tell me? You said I, I was too. Wabe said I'm too loud. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, about what? About the. He said, you said I should be quiet when they're playing or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wabe was like, I'm too loud. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, he, he wants to concentrate. Shia <laughs> Mai ni dake ne. Shia Mai ni dake. Yeah, you, you get too excited. <laughs> But yeah, so this matchup,、uh, I think. <laughs> It's going to be difficult, I think, for Uwabe's side because Uwabe's style of gameplay takes high concentration. Yeah. It's very patient style, very high concentration. It's fine to do that in first to two or first to three, but for a long set, for a first to ten, it's very easy to get mentally fatigued. It's very easy to get tired playing like that. Gao is just. Gao's just trying to open him up. <laughs> It's, he, he's not really playing quite like that. He's just doing what he wants. Yes. But I think this is going to be a struggle for Uwabe to maintain mental composure. That's going to be a big deal with this matchup. Yeah. So basically, like, Gao is trying to attack him very hard. So, yeah, let's see how Uwabe. Defend that. It's really tough. Yeah, but this should be a fun matchup. I think、yes. you're gonna, you're two very polar opposite styles. It just, you just see, I think it, it, sounds, it sounds kind of token,、yep. but <coughs> I think it really comes down to who plays, just who is feeling better today. Today, who has more composure? Yes. Who, has the, <coughs> who can find the, the dubs there? You、yep. know, especially when it gets to these close kind of matches,、mm. which I think you're going to see. Just because of the way the team matchup style works, the opening characters is going to be a, a really, really rough one, especially, I think, for a while. But, so, it's the more it is. Okay, ready to start? Yep. Tell me how that sounds, guys. Right now, it's Uwabe one player side. Got one, two kids. Kugi, I see y'all with the gifties. So close, I see y'all with the gifties. I got y'all after. Big land, I'm watching. But yo, here we go. First to ten set. Yeah, let's go. And you can see Gao's team, right? Yep. Geese, Nakaruru, Rock. Geese is, I think, just my feeling watching them play, I think his Geese is. Very high danger potential. Yeah. Yo, you guys gotta help me out in the chat. How's the sound balance? I don't have as much juice on the sound for the game, but let me know. Big Mark Man doing well. I see you, bro. Take care of yourself, man. Sound, sounds good? If this is good, then this is good. I'm gonna try to keep it quiet. Here we go. Keys for Zeorce. This is a big matchup because. Uwabe has, starts this with no meat after, right? Yes. So it's basically very hard、um, with that meter against a K group. So, yeah. And, you know, only two combos. Gao already has a rage. Already 
has Rage, trying to get into that close range, be able to apply some pressure. Yeah. Rage winding down. Uwabe on point with these RC Rekkas, though. You see him poking away with the stand lights. And this is a big deal because if Iori is able to win this matchup like this, like he just did, that's a big W for Uwabe. Yeah. The reason why is because functionally on his team, Iori is a battery. His main purpose is to try to get as much damage as he can, but he wants to build that green bar. If Chun Li can come in second with a loaded gun like that, it is a very dangerous situ situation for, for Gao. He's gonna have to play that completely differently when she when she has meter to juice her like that. See, this is a this is a problem character. For Gao's team, this is a character that I think can create a huge momentum swing in this matchup. For Uwabe not having it, bro. Quick in front of the super, DP in the corner. That's the crouch lights. And the, what I want you guys at home to watch for, watch for Wabe's composure in Something that Gao talked about when he talks about playing Wabe, he says, it's kind of difficult for me to kind of force Yomi or, or be looking for parries because of the way this guy plays. He plays with a very minimalist style. If you watch him, he does not whip or swing a lot. Unless you are in range, he do, it's, he's not one of those players who's just pressing buttons the whole time. He's fine to just chill, just block, walk it up. I need some mods to put the channel point betting on. First attack every game. First attack in game two. That far roundhouse that's good. Pass the ground button here. Right now, Gao is the one on the back end. These quick confirms in the super have worked out so well for Uwabe. Huge damage. But it's just momentum, right? Being able to build, he's damn near, oh. at, damn near at level two for Seagrew. Nice, yeah. nice tackle. Oh, nice. Yeah, gets to throw into yep. the corner. Good Could situation for up. Him. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, oh right my god, here he is. Confirm the game. That's a very strong game one showing for Uwabe. Yeah. yeah he, he could have really nice roll to get the behind to the Gao. Yeah, and it's working very good. And also, like, when Gao is going to attack, then he needs to be careful for the um, Uwabe's like, roll. Not to get the behind. Yeah, so something that Gao talked about with Iori specifically was, and you saw it kind of happen, especially against Rock at the end, he's very weary of Wabe's ability to mix him up with Iori, specifically left right mix up. He said he really wants to focus on being able to block it out, be able to try to force Iori to open him up in a more honest fashion, but that time it just it didn't really work out. He just got, he just got cracked. And you see how quickly Uwabe is able to build gauge, even in secret like that. It felt like he always had meter to be able to confirm in the super. Jumping medium. Close fierce anti-airs. You see, yeah. Careful, just backing away, backing out of range. Oh, nice. Deep oh. jump in has the meter in. That's a that's a I think a confidence tell from Uwabe. The fact that he's willing to just keep get level one with the ori, I'll spend it. Screw it. Oh yeah, drop this link. Yeah. That's unfortunate. That would have been a really good position. Oh nice. Yeah, it's very hard to punish with a uh, attack when you get the behind, but uh, yeah, his gifts can do it constantly. Yeah. That's amazing. Now, this is another interesting one, too. Chun versus Lee. He's here. It's important that he gets as much of a lead as possible and retains enough meter yeah. to where when Nakaruru comes in, he has that that big damage potential off of any hit. SBK. Side swap here. Looking with a test and low. That was just the crazy... Yeah, just jump. 
Close pressure. Yeah. Wabi willing to mash it, Framework? Oh, yes. Nice, yes. Got the guard crush and then yeah, able to close it out. Yeah, Chun Li has a pretty tough against the Geese because of uh, after just the defense, like mostly Geese can punish. And also very hard to anti air. Now starting to get a stronger read for yeah. Wabe's button press habits and skin pressure. Those kinds of strings, those like e those kind of like simple strings like that, Gao is a piece at being able to just defend them. See, he's gonna have to he's forcing Wabe to have to play a little bit more passively. Change up his pressure. Oh nice cross up. Yeah, that's big. To the wall. He jump in. Welcome with Roundhouse. Oh. Yeah, but uh, he his geese did a really nice job this round. Yeah, he carried his weight for yeah. sure. This one's also going to be a little tough for Sagat just because Kei Nakaruru, she has the benefit of the short hop. She's high mobility. She sacrifices combo damage, right? Yeah. But if he's able to score a knockdown, Gao can be very, very scary against this character in, being, in terms of mix-up potential. Yes. Especially if he's able to get in the rage. You gotta watch out for those links in the sweep or then leak in the, leak in the super app. This matchup is uh, like um, how Sagat can, can do the anti air against the Nakoruru because uh, Sagat is a tall character and also only he has a uh, up DP for the anti air. Oh! Okay. Yeah. That's but still, like he has a, uh, uh, Gao has a good advantage. Yeah, even this matchup, you talked, you said this one Sagat is the one with the advantage. But yeah. when I watch Gao play his rock against a lot of Sagat players, he's able to steal these rock. Can, rock can make you bleed, especially in K. Late game like this, jump roundhouse. He's able to get in close like this, get a good read. But watch for Gao the way he plays against Sagat in general. He's really good at standing outside the range of Sagat's crotch spears. It's one of his most dangerous buttons in this game. See, he's yet hanging out just outside that range. Where he can react and be able to come in with a jump roundhouse. One of the best jump ins in the game. Oh, wow. Oh, nice combo. Slice, yeah. Oh. He went, for yeah. The, he went for the grab. Yes. Neutral but, uh, jump, comes down, punish, big damage. Wabe up two games. Yeah, he he's showing really nice defense. Yeah, that felt that felt like that felt like Gao's game. I really I really thought he was about to run away with that. But that just goes to show you, especially when. You know, it's ratio two Sagat, of course, but like the way Gal plays, that character, especially with meter to back him up, he's only a few defensive reads away from being right back in there. This is gonna be a match to remember. Fight! But this matchup, to me, this is the one that sets the tone for the rest of the set. Seeing how this one develops. Oh, nice, nice punish. Yeah, big sweep checks here. Yeah. Wabe, he's in range where he can poke now. He's, he's not doing anything. Scared of just defend, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice DP. RC Reckless is checking out the air. Cross up kick, good guard. Oh, Wabe yeah. onto the other side. Yeah, quick confirm in the super. Not even on health. Decent rage, though. Not going to take much. Close fierce anti air. Wreck of time, where you going? Oh, nice, Ooh. nice take. Wow. Who I've been mashing, mash. <laughs> Got the close fears, able to close it out. Yeah. But that's, that's a, man, the fact this that he almost built three bars, too. It's fightable. It's fightable. Oh, nice. Speed. After punish, after just a defense, a red card. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's the three, 3 HP. Yeah, it's kind of like frame prop. Yeah. So, 
She's like, what, plus six after that or something yes. like that? Don't block? It, well, I guess it depends on when you block it, right? Yeah. She moves around it. Really annoying. But here's the big thing. This Chun-Li with that much gauge. Look at the bottom left corner of your screen. Three bars built. Gao is going to want to take the fight to the air primarily. He is very scared of any normal at that range because I'm sure you'll see it at least one time in the set. If you've never seen this game played, if you've never seen Chun-Li and Seagree, watch the way Uwabe plays this. Game. Yeah, Uwabe needs a patient against this matchup. But once he gets the one chance... Huge yeah. damage return. Yes. And he's gonna, I think, if he gets the touch, he's gonna dump it all. Oh, yes, this one. happened. Not done yet. Oh, nice block. It's uh, one of the scary points against the Chun-Li. Yeah, she has a, like, the, mix. The, yes, the reset after the after some kick super. He's gonna go for it again. Cross oh. up that time it hit, bro. Oh my god, Gal match. Oh! Stan Media Punch is paying bills right now. Gal, back it up, back it up. Oh, it's a trade, but the... Uh, Wabe advantage. Yeah. That's big. If, he, if Chun-Li can even score, just... If she can play this a, a if just be able to gain some gains and then score some touches on Rock, that would put Sagat in really, really good position. Just want to give Sagat the gauge at this oh, point. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. That elbow is very nice when Rock is a Kegru because of just the defense. So... It's... Yeah, Sagat has a meter now, so... Gao needs to watch out against uh, like Sagat combos. Do not get caught up close yeah. with these crouching light kicks. Do not get in the crouch fierce range. Right now he's yeah, yeah. he's trying to get he's trying to approach too much. Getting opened up. You see him oh. primarily approaching with jump roundhouses, jump roundhouse. Oh nice counter. Shine all the way to the wall. Oh, they with some defensive presses here. What does this? What does this? Oh, Sagat still has the gauge. Go oh, has one more gauge. It's really one touch on both sides. Gal with rage. Wabi, be yeah, just back up. He's chill. Oh, I think like he tried to do the super, but uh, Wabi low shot is like slightly faster. That makes it three in a row for Uwabe. Should tell him, you know. <laughs> should tell him we're streaming. Yo, drop some shit. From wherever channel y'all are from, I don't care where you came from. Drop some shit in the chat. Give Gal your support. If you're trying to see him bounce back, give the show us something real. Wabe playing like a just lights out right now though. This battle is Gal's had his chances. It's Wabe's just been able to maintain control. Yeah, and he's come up big in those in those fuck situations. A small defensive read here or there, but when he has the gauge to back him up with Sagat, that's game. That's a game closer. Ooh, like, look at the the low what? confirms. Shouts to the Kendry too. The low oh, confirms for the stun. Yeah, it's a overhead against uh, four characters. Back jump, middle punch. That's big. If that's a huge win for Uwabe yeah. in, the, in, the care, in the character battle. If he's able to eliminate these and Yori's still at full health with three bars, dump the meter at this point. Yori's already done his job. Just if you build a little bit of gauge, let Chun come in. Oh my god. Oh, stun again? Stun again. <laughs> wow. Yo, this dude's playing lights out. This dude's playing lights out. This battle is Rock, you got a lot of work to do, baby. You got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Oh, he's attacking the all. Yeah. The Wabe sense, he, he smelled, he smelled that before anybody else did. Before Gao even thought about doing it, he knew he was coming. 
But yeah, at this point, Eeyore, Eeyore's done his job. Roll through the fireball. He's willing to yeah, play out the clock. Nice. You can have Eeyore did way so much work. And, the, and again, look at the situation. Chun comes in, damn near three bars. Yeah. Huge one-touch potential. Pokes in now. Yeah, Gal's in the danger zone. If he gets touched again, he could very well die. Do not get hit on the ground. Toughies. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, he went for throw again. Oh, nice. Oh. Gal, stop. Yeah. Gal, stop. Uh -huh. Oh, sure. Wow, that's a nice combo. Yeah, he dumped all this meter. Not gonna take much more. Yeah, it's a guaranteed punish. On just defend. Yep. Sweep at, sweep at that range. Damn, this kid. <laughs> hey, I know Gibby's in the chat, man. Gibby, shut up, bro. This character's cool. This character's cool as hell. Leave, leave Rock alone, man. But again, look at where Gao's standing. You saw that first whip? He was scared to pull the trigger. He knows the range on Crouch Fierce from Sagat all too well. Just do not get tagged by that button. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice Crouch medium kick. Uh -huh. Elbow, but yeah, it gets opened up by Sweet. Trying to, again, you see him primarily fishing with those jump roundhouses like that, trying to open up Huabe on the ground. Huabe just not having it, though. Yeah, he, his guess was right, but uh, pressed uh, stand high kick uh, too early. Yeah. That's four straight. If you choose the wrong groove, you may just great. I knew that groove. Gal needs some kind of momentum break here. Wabe, I think he's starting to get like really, really comfortable. That Iori, the way that she ran like that. Oh man, are you ready for this? This tournament is held under the free ratio system. That's the crazy thing. Gal. I mean, his rock did work too. He brought that back, but shit, it's that's tough, man. When he yeah. gets to start like that, like the way he did, that's tough to come back from. Yeah, Gao really wants to stop the Iori. Oh, that's nice. So, oh, it's a two P mix up. Understand? Okay, Gao. Yeah. Okay, Gao. Okay. Yeah, close, close liking pressure. If we get the plus range, Wabi does not give a shit. I'm still mashing. I'm still pressing. Wreck it to the wall. Decent range. Just defend. Here we go, baby. This is the kind of game he needs. Yeah, the wake up game. Poking with roundhouses at tip range. Oh, nice. Just defend. Yeah, Activate. nice. This has a really, really nice move after just a defense. Yeah, one of the things that complements him oh, so well. Oh, DZ again. Okay. This is the kind of game he needed. There we go. One of the things that complements me so well with K-Group 2 is... It's not one of the, the top reasons, but I feel like giving this character one, the ability for him oh. to just run up in pressure like that... Oh, God. Okay, well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> but Giz did a nice job, so yeah. yeah, let's try to beat this Sagat with die. two characters. And you can see some shades of why Gal likes that character in Keiko so much. Just the, the combination of the run pressure, the run pressure combined with the buttons that Giz has, the ability to milk that guard bar, and force Wabi to make decisions. Are you gonna just sit there and, and block this? You're gonna let your guard bar get eaten? Wow. <laughs> Nakaruru in a similar way, too. Look at her just poking, just chopping away at that guard bar. Wabe's gonna have to make a decision soon. Jump, easy crouch, fierce anti air. Yes. This so basically, we like, Sagato cannot jump in yeah. against uh, Nakaruru. This is what you were talking about earlier, boss. Yeah. This character, she's, she's small, she's nimble, she's a, very difficult to pin down, high mobility. For Sagat, he has to he has to be willing to commit to uh, the uppercut, basically. I like that, Mamaha, Mamaha, fainting a, a lot with her too. 
coming down with the mama ha ha. Jump heavy punch, yeah, that, yeah. The pizza cutter, I hate that shit. Sweet, no, yeah. Not in rage, not able to get anything out of it. What? Wow. Yeah, but the Nakuru did a did really nice, yes. She did her job. Yeah. So Rob, and the, the big thing was, he was able to drag the match out too. So Sagat didn't get very much help. Yeah, coming. yes, come on, Grau. Easy cleanup for Rob. Okay, so five matches, they're gonna change. Yep. And uh, small... Small break. Yeah, small break. Gao on the board though, good shit. <sighs> yeah, it was really tough matchup, tough like starter for Gao, but uh, yeah, he shows some nice points. So yeah, I like I like that last game and the mm. game before the game before even I you know for Uwabe when his Iori was able to get yeah I yeah, mean, yeah yeah super close to OCV. Yes, Gao's rock brought that back. That was a, that was a lot closer than than I think it looked, but. Yeah, so um, as you guys know, yeah, Uabe, um, Iori is a pretty did nice job. So Gaugis needs to stop um, his Iori. Yeah, specifically, Gao said he's he's worried about the way Iori is able to approach and using roll, using cross ups too. It's very easy, even for players that play this game for 20 years, you know? It's very easy to get hit with some of those left rights that Iori can do. And some of those ambiguous jumps, right? And he's mixing in empty lows, too. You saw at the end, he was just jumping empty low. It's very easy to get kind of opened up like that. That was something that he talked about coming into this match. I want to concentrate and focus a lot. I have to shut down Iori. And it's such a big swing, that initial matchup, too. Because if he's able to shut down Iori mitigate the meter gain that Chun-Li is going to come into the match with, that's a potential advantage for Geese and Nakaruru. But yo, real quick, pull up the match arena. Let's go to it before they hit. I'm going to let them take their time. Bruh, <laughs> yo, y'all are, uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> y'all really, really put $2,000 on this? Once again, thanks to everybody that put down for it. This is going to, again, the players. It's going to Big One Arcade and uh, Wakamatsu-san and a couple other people that helped me with the, the tech setup for this kind of stuff. But if you want to put down, again, this is for the players. This is for Big One Arcade, uh, where a lot of CBS2 events are still held. The boss can tell you a little bit more about that. If you guys think this game looks cool, if you've never played this game before, if you think it looks cool, uh, check out Boss's channel. He does a, a lot, of, a lot of great stuff. I think to be able to try to help players get up to speed. Uh, there's a there's a Discord too that's pretty helpful if you want to be able to get matches. There's a lot of people trying it out. You know. Okay, so let's go to the another matches. Okay. Yeah, switch switch to the one P two P. So yep. um two so P. Can you can you stop the? Yeah, thank you. So Gao pick the one P and Ua be pick the two P this time. So, yeah, actually, like, um, Uabe team, Iori Chunli Sagat has a lot of, like, 2P setups. So, yeah, Gao need to be careful more. So, when, so boss, I, so if, what kind of 2P setup are we looking for? What can she do? Um, it's a kind of ex difficult explain, but uh, when you get the throw with a kick throw, and uh, when you are, when you, you knock down and your head is uh, forward to the like screen uh, middle screen side, there is uh, some space. So, um, so you can actually take the corner away from them and cross yes, up. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's only two B side though. It's, yes. It's kind of a weird way that they changed it. Yeah. And Yori Chunni Sat has a very nice setup for that. Yeah, Gal moving now. You can see his defense activated as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Deadly Rave continue the stream. Wow. Fishing for parries. And Wabe not gonna look. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that was tight. Reset. She went light, raw lightning like that. Oh, dude, they're swinging right now. Holy shit. 
no meter back. <laughs> All the meter wow. off the table now. Just the thing. Oh my god, that's very nice. <laughs> Let's go, Justin. Put that shit on Panda Global's YouTube. Let's fucking go. Okay. This matchup. It feels like we haven't had an opportunity to see this one too, too much. Now with a deep sweep. Look at these cake moves, short jumps. That's such... You would think a character like Sagat who has buttons like stand fierce, uh, roundhouse, stand medium kick. Those quick buttons to be able to try to check in that mid-range, getting that hits above him, above the waist like that. But the thing is, the short hop, it's still difficult to react and check it like that. With jab, still at a rhythm. There's the cut, cross up. Oh, nice, nice block. Yeah, I got hit by that. I don't know how he blocked that. Oh, nice, we punish. Wow. I'm in a low tiger. DP? Yes. Uwabe's. Did Uwabe not out of this game? Yeah, this start is really. Shield. Castle. Stone walls. Yep. Very hard to open up. Yeah. Quick throw. Gao, your movement is really oh, good. Oh, nice. Unchair. Uh, but That's unfortunate. That's okay. Yeah. He gets out the corner, though. Yeah. That was the thing. His movement is so good, and his approach generally is pretty good with Rock against this character. Nice. But okay. This is the man grab into the corner. Good position for, for Gao here. Yeah. He can run this back. Oh, oh, nice on air. Oh! Uh, that mistake. Oh. Yeah. Wabi comes up with the dub there. I know that you be back. This is this is the first dream event of the 21st century. If you choose great, I knew that groove was in your heart. That's unfortunate. That's the kind of that's the thing with that character though. Yeah. You cannot afford to misfire and worry. You know, especially with like elbow or any or like you know, accidental like dunk or accidental air, like elbow or something like that. Like especially against like characters like in this game, like Sagat, who could just tag you like that. That's huge swing potential. That was his game. He was in it. This is gonna be a match to remember. Fight! See how this would go. You can see right off the that that ten seconds is such a big tell in just like the difference of styles. Gal's just pressing buttons, just whipping. Wabi just chilling. Oh, that's a big punish. Yeah, that's big. And the stun. And the stun. Oh, nice block. Nice hit to confirm. Oh, nice. Yeah. Crash Pierce. Yeah, Crash Pierce. Well played match there. And this is the kind of ideal scenario, I think. Oh, uh, not quite. It's still a lot of meter for Chun to come in with, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is okay. Significant lead for Gao here. SVK and Oh, nice. Five. Oh! And that's what you gotta be afraid of. That character with all that bar, she would just drain your health. That's a un unfortunate mistake from Gao Dandan, like counter attack showing up. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Chunli doesn't have a um, meter now, so that kind of gives Nakaru yeah, that gives Nakaru a license to kind of just harass or jump in a lot. Nice, nice sweep. Oh, nice. That time? nice! Nice, confirm. Yeah. Oh!
and this is the kind of this game. This game is a little bit more according to plan for Gao's gameplay in this set. Let Nakabuba come in. She's going to get very close. If she gets tagged, there's the rage. Now Sagat has to be very careful. He has to be about to build three bars. But this character, again, she's very, very aggravating the fight against her. Jump in just a oh, bit. Nice. Check on the wall. Wow. Low shot. Three times. It's a two frame link. Oh, on the same side. Gal still with health advantage, but you gotta be. Yeah. Be weary that Sagat about to go Oh, nice bar. counter. Nice, yeah. Nice Ooh, throw. Okay, Gal. Okay, Big touch here from Mbappe. He's missing his short jumps. The jump and no follow up. He's had so many touches, so many chances. Oh, nice touch here. Oh, let's oh. go, Gao! <laughs> Ooh! I was swinging. Dude! <laughs> he, it, he got so many stray hits. Yeah. Just unable to just get one confirmed to close it out, but he got, he got the last touch he needed. Jesus. But sometimes winning, especially in a long set like this, right now it's 5-2, right? Yeah. I mean, winning that kind of game like that, that, that can be a big confidence boost. For Gao, I think he needs those kinds of games where it's kind of like a slugfest, but he's able to outplay, still come up with the dub. It wasn't pretty, but it was, it's a win. Yeah, I think that he getting warm up because uh, his geese move is getting very good yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. You, can really, you can really see it, especially in yeah. the open. This opening matchup is so big. Live and let die. Fight! Has oh, nice. Ooh, okay, check the jump. And again, look at this geese pressure. Oh, nice. He's constantly forcing Uwabe to have to choose. Do you want to take the chip and take the guard bar? Are you willing to guard? I might run up and throw you. Oh! Good, that's pretty sick. Yeah, he's a jump. Fucking good. Uh, a key moment in that game was <laughs> they reset and Uwabe, it felt like Uwabe was supposed to approach. But he jumped back. Gal pursued, and he had oh, RC, nice. RC nice. Rekko on deck. He has a sense for how Gal wants ah. to approach. With confirm, no super. Yeah. Oh, no. Again? Oh, man, you got the touches. Pokemon with Rekka. Big jump, yeah. and then it's going to trade, but it's going to work out in Gal's favor. Still, you already did his job. Because again, look what Chun comes in with. Bottom right corner of your screen. Chun with the level 3 on deck. If she can quickly eliminate Nakamuru, that puts Wabe in good position. Ooh! Oh, no, far medium punch. Yeah, nice. Time. Going for the reset? No. Well, Stump all the meter and her. Yeah. That's not the last time you're going to see yeah, that. Yeah, the, the combo is uh, like one of the hardest, but uh, one of the biggest damage. One of the hardest, but he's really he's one of the best at hitting it consistently too. Yeah, but uh, after um, after cancel the lightning kick, like standing pierce, yep. uh, another level one is a uh, like hard point. And once you miss it, like you get the hard punish. So it's really like you need a like decent execution. Be confident to even go for that reset. Yeah, we get some straight hits, nothing more. Go to Wabe now, back to the wall. Just jumps out. I'm out. And you 
see in the mid range like that. Uwabi's, you see him do, doing crouch, crouch jab. Try to offset, try to keep Rock off balance. Big throw. Oh. Drop there. Nice punish response there. Midi Rapukin on Oki. Wake wow. up legs. Yeah, wake up um, Lord Cancel right in your legs. Yeah. Wake up RC legs? Yeah. Reset after the super? Damn. I know that you 6 2. Back. This, is, this is the first dream event of the 21st century. If you choose yeah, man, this is what happens when you, you uh, when you don't stop playing, you know? The winner of this tournament is the strongest team in the world. These fighters are as good as they come. Any team Take a win the yeah. tournament. Only a team with ability. Guts. Great. I knew it's, that crew was in your heart. Really it feels like Uwabe is the one in control, but Gao, I mean, Gao's right there. I think he's just... He's like one small thing away from I think being able to just build some comfort, com comfort and like confidence out of it, I guess. But again, the big thing is that initial matchup. Live and let die. Fight. With RC records. Easy to do a big jump like that. Oh, okay. you see Gao trying to get some get some frame advantage over like crouch jab. Close light kick. Oh nice throw. And return fire. Yeah. Take it to the wall. Has to be wherever you want to stay in roundhouse. That's a big whiff, big punch. Yes. Woo! Well, I'll be just putting the fiercest out there. They're swinging. Fierce, fierce. Wow. Just defend on the on yeah. the <laughs> Just the hand on point. That's he, the thing. He's, yeah. he's slowly been getting more, more and more comfortable with it. Yeah, and he has a nice meter. Maybe he had a fierce dance oh. here too? Had the crouch chance. Oh my god. Big punish. Yeah. And reset? Yes, wow, reset. Same it. side. Yeah, it's really hard to see. Oh, whoa! Ah, <laughs> uh, trying to take yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a very hard link, but uh, yeah, he he got that. Yeah, it's really hard to connect the uh, normals after shot jump. This matchup. Yeah. Gal's still in very good position here. Even though Chun's about to wow. build the bar, yeah. Nakaruru right now. Yeah, really tricky. Yeah. Yeah. That's tough for them. For Sagat and Chun Li, they both have similar issues against this character like this. But at least for Uwabe, Sagat's gonna come in close to three bars. Yes. Wow. Quick confirm the super. Yeah. Awesome, Amaha. Bird Super, gotta wait for him to come back. There's that three, that uh, that three heavy punch like that. Kind of awkward because it, the frame advantage changes based on how deep it is, right? But it is, um, it can be plus. JD. Oh, big win! Oh! oh. Uh, Mr. Link. That's big uh, too because he was in rage when that happened. All that meter's gonna go away now. Big drop. That would have been really. Yeah. That would have been a big come up if Rock could have come in with close to, close to full rage. That's the nuance of K Groove. You keep the gauge as long as rage does not activate when you go into the next oh, game. Nice. Run up, grab. Oh my. Created this huge Ooh. position advantage. He got the low medium kick. Ah. Wabe fishing for that big touch. Mm. Got the crouch light. Can't get the Yeah, that um, 
low short, low short is a two frame link, so it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. This ain't Street Fighter 4, this ain't Street Fighter 5, no buffer like that, dude. You gotta hit that shit wrong. Whoa! Nice, woke up slow. Check the roll and cow hanging on. Spread the wings. Okay, cow, okay. I know that you be back. Yeah, I think he's he's getting like comfortable to pray. He's getting comfortable and it's happening yeah. in these really, really, really close situations too. But he's consistently coming up with the right decisions and with, and with ways to crack you up his guard. And that's how you build confidence. It's not so much about the runaway wins. Sometimes, again, it's about being able to win those really, really close exchanges like that. But, oh, now I'm starting. Now they're starting to go my way a little bit. This battle is about to explode. Oh man. The intros in this game are so sick. Man. I'm sorry. Let me boom out. The intros in this game are too, are too fucking good. Nice air to air. Check wow. Is that the best punish? Poke the roundhouse. Take the crouch jab. Yeah. Won't be swinging back. Yeah, it's also like two frame ring. Roundhouse, wow. yes. Now with these just defense coming up big. Decent rage, gotta be careful, Wabe. Be careful swinging in mid range. You know this dude's a just defense fiend. Ah! Uh, that's a. Uh... Another drop. Wow. wow big, big throw. Yeah, drop each other, but yeah, sometimes it happens. Maybe it. Boss, do you think. They're... Are they nervous? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, yeah. yeah. That's all oh, you nice. guys, man. Y'all put y'all put money on this. Y'all actually showed up to watch. Jesus. Yeah. Quick confirm. Geese has to be a little bit careful about Chun's crouch jab, but also crouch medium punch. The what do you call it? Neko punch. One where she gets yes. down like that. That's a, a very very obnoxious button in the middle. Run up throw. Yes, and this is. This is the kind of yo. This is what I'm talking about. If oh nice, oh nice. If Wabe is content to just block some of this pressure like this. Look for how to run, start running to throw more off. Wow, that's a nice confirm. Super reset. Oh, off of the re jump in the stun. Beautiful. Big whiff, no touch. Started with the uh, healing. I got your healing right here. Reset. Went low in the, yeah. Legs to be able to close out. Live and let die. Fight. Gal not out of this one yet. We're gonna have a side switch after this game as well, but. Great building. Oh, nice. Oh, nice sweep. Check nice. on the roll. Yeah. Ooh, oh, the yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, to be able to close it out. yeah, and Chun-Li Chun -Li did a taunt to raise his, yeah. uh, his raise meter. That's so, a high level exchange. When yeah. you taunt, the cake root meter builds, right? So remember yeah, yeah, what yeah. I was saying last time. If you end the round with rage active, cake root meter does not carry over. So that's a, like, essentially. Uh, Essentially, that was Uwabe saying, okay, you got me. You got me, but I'm going to take your meter. And I'm going to give you my meter in return. Uwabe. Ooh. 7 3, and we get the side swing. Yes. That's a checkmate situation. That was like, okay, I got you. You got it. But I'm going to take your meter for, for, the next, for the next round. Yo, Rayo, pull up the Macharino, man. Wow. <laughs> uh, like I said, man, yo, Meta Abe, thanks for coming through, man.
Hope y'all doing all, all, all right out there. Yo, can I get some hands in the chat for Coogie? He put together this pack. The reason why the stream looks so nice is Coogie, bro. Make sure y'all drop some hands for him. Can I get some, uh, drop some hands and just say Broken Tear. Broken Tear had their anniversary, bro. Y'all put this shit over. Y'all put $2,000 on this? And again, remember, uh, this is going to the players. This is going to Big One Arcade. If you guys watch CBS2, Alpha 3, Vampire, JoJo's, uh, they run all kind of crazy. Melty Blood. If you guys watch any of those games, they're the arcade out there that's right now putting out content for, the, for that. This is going to go to them and the players. So big ups to all y'all who put down for it, man. Much appreciated. Damn, that's crazy. So like this five match up, five matches like now getting like comfortable uh, for playing, and uh, yeah, his gears um, getting really good. But also like Uabe Sagat is a castle. I he. I think Uwabe Sagat, this whole set has just been yeah. very, very strong. Even, I, 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 I think like with Geese and Nakaruru, he's had some drops. Yes, like yes. combo drops, mm. up, but, yep. which I'm surprised. I'm surprised mm. they, maybe they're nervous, I think. But, uh, but his Sagat, even in spite of that, his Sagat has been a wall. Yes. <laughs> the Big whole wall. Time. The Big whole wall, time. yes. Yo, real quick, before they start, let's go to uh, playback again. Let's do our little ad rollout. Go ahead. Avoiding the puddle packs, one and two, Tasty Steve pack, Majin Obama pack, level up your game pack. Uh, make sure you guys get the stickers, bro. I, I don't know if they lowered the price or not. I just know I get less for, <laughs> for everyone. But make sure you guys hit those up. That's season one. Hit them with the season two. Black History Month. Make sure y'all get the Sage Jam pack. Jay Wong, If Sipes, Anime Illuminati. This is the wave two. Make sure y'all get on it. Stay connected to everything ICFC, Twitter.com slash Tenno Media, YouTube.com slash Tenno Media, Patreon.com slash Tenno Media. Stay connected, bro. Uh, there's lots of stuff coming coming ICFC down the pipes. Make sure y'all stay connected on socials. And if you like this kind of stuff, get on there and talk about it. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to the let's get another, another five matches. So this is the swap. Yeah. Swap. Swap again. And... Uh, Go get the two piece side. Yeah, actually, it's good. Uh, Gao didn't get uh, so many two piece setup um, from uh, Uabe. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, score is like kind of a double score now, but uh, still, like, he has a good chance to come back. Yeah, but if, it, if he is going to make a serious run at this, it has to start here. Yeah. You don't want to go down three, like, more than double the score, that's going to be tough. Just especially with the way that this match is going. <laughs> okay, I see, your, I see your short jump. Wow. I see your short that's jump. Yeah, just cross up DP. Divas DP. It's really hard to do that. You need a specific command to do. Oh, nice block. Nice block. Yes. Beautiful. Wow. The power of just a pen. <laughs> yes, just a defense and the power. Looking with Roundhouse. Just a pen. Oh, wow. That's a hit to confirm. He got the crouch jab, but I, I don't know yeah. what happened. Some very uncharacteristic drops. Still able to close out. He did a good job. He's going to lose his meter. But for Uwabe, he already kind of did his job. He got Geese low enough. He built enough meter. If Chun is able to close this out quickly, build enough gauge to come in against Nakamura, then that's Uwabe's ideal plan. Right now, Gao's having a tough time dealing with That big cross up. Take it. Yeah, I'm about to. Stun? Yeah, I'm about to, yeah. It's close, right? Yes, yes. Ooh, wow. Oh, nice, nice Antia with super. Yeah, she, she has have to use it. I see some people in the chat. What does the K group install do? It gives you access to level to, to supers, but it also gives you a damage buff on all your attacks. Yeah, damage buff a lot, and also like a defense buff. Yes, that's why you'll notice Gao's movement changes as soon as he gets raided. Sometimes. Yeah. He becomes a little bit more aggressive in his approach. Open the super, that's a misfire. Yeah, but not a big punish. Yeah. Nakamura, hmm. her combo damage is not super yeah. high. Yeah. Right? 
But Nagoro has a like mobi mobility. Yes, it's more yeah. about hitting and hit and run, poking, dipping. Yeah, and tricky, speedy. And then the mix-ups that he can run on over. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, here is a wall. Well, we're gonna have to fight this one out. Empty oh nice. Low. Yes. Again? To Kedrick, too. Are you seeing? Are you seeing these low confirms? Air guard. You see? Yeah. It, 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 whoa! Did he? <laughs> <laughs> Pokey with reflect. Yeah. Again, yeah. Wabi knows to sweep. Anticipating that sweep. Wow, that's a nice punish. Yep. Big damage punish. That was perfect timing on it. Gonna eat the crouch spears, but Rock is gonna come in in good position to be able to close yeah. this out. He has to be aware of Wabe being able to snipe him and then you know, maybe get some momentum off of a super or anything, or off of a good defensive read. But generally, if he pokes this out, he plays his right, just defend, just defend, activate it. Yeah, he has enough chance to win if he doesn't get the dizzy. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Whoa! Okay, that's what we're doing. That's what we're Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's go. Yes, that's go. You can tell how much Gao respects this this wall of a Sagat because you're used to seeing him be very active, right? Yeah. But in that kind of situation, you saw him just back and just chill. I'm willing to play. When you start to see Gao play the clock like that, when he's willing to be a little bit more passive and be, try to be more patient than Uwabe, Uwabe forced that out of him. He didn't back down either, yeah. Keep rocking, baby. Keep rocking, baby. Long death. <laughs> this battle is about to explode. Fight. I'm trying to get Gee status. I already, I'm a better weave than all of y'all. I just, I want to be Gee status though. I need to be rich. I gotta get handsome. <laughs> wow, Yo. that's a nice punish. Just a man. And look at the continue the damage. Yeah, look, look at this damage. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a key geese. Nice block. Fishing and now you can see Wabi has to change his pressure up. Gao is too good at being able to just defend in the mid range like this. Oh wow, nice step on the jab. Yes. To the hit combo to the level super. And the level one. Not quite yet, just defend. Uh, yeah. Cross up kick to be able to punish the deadly rave attempt. But you can see even this battle is about Look at what he got that off of. That was just an empty roll and to just like crop. Close jab, close light confirm. Yeah, nice punish. Going for stuff like that. Trying to maybe fish for a late reaction out of Gao on the roll. Wow, well, yeah, got the close lights. Never two again. Yeah, that's a pretty this nice is like damage. the first game we saw. Heavy advantage right now for Emi Wabe. Yeah. Wow. One touch away from the game to check Dakaruru here. Fighting with an inch of his I forgot he had no help. That the Yuri Kona pressure is uh, very yes. scary. Yeah. The cornered mouse attacks the cat. He had no life with the Yuri. He went all. He just went in. And that's such a change up from his normal movement and the way he plays. Jaha, you know that's boss on the mic, bro. Stop it. Stop playing with me, Jaha. It's Black History Month. You know we put you know we put boss on the mic. CVS2 in the bunker. Crouch medium punch, crouch lights. Just bully. 
Ah! Big cross up. Yeah, here. big combos. Yeah. Dump the meter and the reset. Just walks away. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. Because Gao has a meter. Yeah, Gao had the rage yeah. active. Wow. With the reset, that's enough to do it. Yeah. Wabe up 8-4. You see Gao really trying to go for some unconventional ways to open him up to, like what, uh, he tried to poke with, uh, what did he do, he did close light kick, right, so he's frame advantage, and then he tried to go for command grab after, but Uwabe, that's the thing, Gao, something that they, the play, other players talked about is, the way his offense is, is so good at being able to get you in your feelings, make you play outside yourself, but Uwabe has really denied him of a lot of that kind of talk, you know? He's not really, he's not really letting Gao run these kinds of, of unconventional offensive sequences that would that would allow that would maybe crack a lot of players. Wabi is just not that. The damage differential here. Oh, Just nice. Defense nice. Defense. Punish. Yeah, yeah, he had to do that, yeah. Yes. Guard bar. Yes, yeah, that's a punish. And his pressure is uh, too good. Live and let die. Fight. Yeah, See, as soon as Gao got comfortable with it, the way Uwabe is pressing buttons in mid range, and this just a been activated, he can create these momentum shifts. That's a lot of meters. Uh, you know, of course, Rage active. He spends on Deadly Raid, but he gets out of the situation. No longer in cross of danger. Oh, nice punish. Jake gets pushed to the wall. Justin. <laughs> wow. Too scary. Hey, just, just, <laughs> stop with these corny ass thirds, right? Come on, man. Boot up CBS2. Let's see you do the same thing with CBS2. Panda Global got some bills to pay next month. I need you. I need you to run it with running CBS2. Cause everybody out here trying to. Everybody out here trying to. Let's go, Justin. Check on Nakamura. Oh. Yeah, light punish, of course, like we said before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's punish damage is not going to be where Nakamura shines, but it's when she gets this knockdown. Anti-air. Chun-Li has that floaty jump. That's free anti-air for Nakamura. Crouch Fierce like that. Yes. Crouch Fierce is a really strong. This battle is about to explode. Fight. Wow, See, yeah. That kind of approach. Empty low, empty low. That time Uwabe not afraid to swing. Whoa. Oh. I have no idea how that crotch fears whip. But Gao with some good momentum here. Whoa. Reverse the throw. Oh, he's a close up. Wow. But Nakaruru did her job. Look yes. At, look at this situation. Yes. Rock is about to come in. It's going to be a little bit of chunk of health for Sagat. He has about. He's about to go to the second ball. But Rock came in with. Oh, it's a, it's a nice counter. Let's go check on the roll with a grab. Just a bit, just a bit, just a bit. Try to throw him. Stop! Beware, Gao. The glowing green what? bar, beware. Yeah. <laughs> There's the jump roundhouse. That is a really, really <laughs> strong approach tool, but yeah. I, I can't believe he was bold enough to even try that with <laughs> level three uh, on deck. But Gao able to bring it back. That's Is that 5-8? Was that two consecutive That was two, two consecutive, right? 
8-5. That's too straight. This is what's so cool about seeing this game in a long set like this. I love being able to see each individual character matchup develop over time like that. That's what's fun. I just don't want to see it in a in first to four grand finals, and I have no idea why old why y'all let the old heads do that shit. That battle is about to explode. But this this is what's fun. Air touches here. Fishing for the anti-air. Wabi becomes a big. But now Gao has a meter. It's scary. Watch some wreckers. Oh! That's a big drop. Yeah, could, wow. couldn't. Well, here is that. Quick punish for the kill. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, like, um, Clutch Pierce Buffer Jaiken, um, it's too far. This battle is about to explode. This is not the way that he wanted this to go. It's one thing if it's to Sagat, it's one thing if it's to Big Chun sequences, but you cannot afford to let this Iori run wild like this. You cannot afford to let e like. Wabi get this kind of momentum and this kind of pressure off. <laughs> the run is so big. Wow, that's nice. nice punish. Good check on the cross up. It's the first time this game he's had a really good answer for Wabi's Iori just wall pressure. Oh, nice punish again. <laughs> To me, it's it, the story this set has been how consistent Uwabe's Sagat is, but then when he gets in the groove with this Iori, he's not afraid, like, this is supposed to be the battery character, Yeah. but he just, he gets in the groove, he starts feeling it, I'll dump all the meter, I don't care. And it just builds this huge lead. Now look at what Rock has to go through. Uwabe, yeah, Gao can absolutely not let, cannot let Iori get that much. But Chun-Li doesn't have a meter now, so yeah, it's a good chance. Oh, stun! Wow, quick stun. That stun, that stun up on me. I didn't. Yeah, I yeah, did. yeah, yeah. That was it's, fast. It's a nice comeback. In spite of all that, you got. Yeah, still like this is a good match. Yes, still no, Sagat doesn't have enough meter, so it's it's a nice chance. Oh, nice DP. Wabe the one coming up big in these situations. Rage active. Gao has usually gone to some unconventional methods in this kind of situation. Look for a command grab. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Got you ducking. Just defend, just defend, throw the roll! Gao! Don't wow, get overzealous. <laughs> Do not get overzealous. That crouch forward like that. And Cow's rock. Holy shit. Is that three straight? Yeah. Three, three wins. It's, it's not like he's just running away with it. These are still, every game is so close. It just comes to like one character, one moment with just a huge momentum swing here. My man is playing some Garo right now. God damn. Yeah, so after this game, another side switch, right? Yeah, right. That was fast. 
This battle is about to explode. Fight! with pierces. Yo, oh, Gao's that's gonna be stun? Gao's confidence levels right now. Yeah, the it's jump medium kick. Yes, it, that's an instant stun overhead. Taken in the ground. Wow. Oh, that's oh, mistake. Oh, huge drop. Nice, hit the cone. <laughs> Yo, Gao, eyes wide open right now. Yeah, Gao is getting he's, ready. He's feeling it now. <laughs> now. Yo. <laughs> Burn super, go for the reset here, and I like, I love that Kawabe is so oh. good at being able to defer expectations. Nice broke. Love it. He doesn't always push the reset after. You've seen a few times he just backs off. Are they in rage? Not even trying to test this dude. I'm gonna just walk away. I'm cool. I'm that confident in my neutral. We can go back to that. I don't need. I don't need. I don't need the mix. Almost three bars built. You gotta be careful, Gao. Oh. Big jump in here. So dump the meter, yeah, just to be able to try to eliminate these. Other side, just defend. You better be careful, Wabe. He's in rage. Defend the JD. Oh. oh my god, <laughs> that could have been. I mean, he was a link away from being able to eliminate John like that. Live and let die. Fight. Going low on the other side. Wabe has to be careful about the jump. Yeah, you cannot jump in like that on her. Gao is looking for it. He's all too prepared to just get an easy anti air like that. Check on the roll. RC legs don't wake up. Pops jab just trying to establish that mid range like that. Go up for a throw, maybe? Wow, wow counter yeah. poke from Gao. This is... Yeah, that move is uh, very strong yeah. against a Chun-Li middle punch. This is not good for Sagat. Yeah. <laughs> basically, yeah, fully... Basically, just fully ro loaded down. He has the meter to be able to work with here, but he's going to have to dump some of it on, on this character. It's to his advantage to use it as early as possible. Just to really be able to build some more of the rock. So you gotta mention he's looking for any crouch fears, crouch medium kick, for any touch here. Oh, oh! You know he wanted it. What a whip punish. Whoa! The entire bird super. Yes. Yo, the Abare. To close it out. Oh my god. Try again. It's the same situation as last game. Go for broke. Kind of an odd. This is it. Wow, nice. Just the defense and the punish. Yeah, just runs it. Crouch forward. Crouch forward in the elbow like that. Do it again, do it again. Yeah. Doing the. Keeping pressure. Oh, Eats wow, that's nice. Combos. About even on ah. health down. In rage, though. Down with a chance here. It's stunned. Yeah, but the set still, off. still, still. Double round. Oh. oh. And Wame <laughs> able to break the momentum swing here. Yeah. It's 9 6. 9 6 on the final side switch. I know that you That's pretty tough to watch. <laughs> Yeah, this is rough. Yeah. Yo, thanks to everybody who came through on the match, Reno. Exclamation point support. Y'all put $2,024, $2,190 on this exhibition. This is going to the players, and this is going to Big One Arcade. Emily Masters, I see you with the 70. Metal the Hero, thanks for the 25. Rock Mania Ishii for the 50. Uh, Kuso Games for $5. Number 16, I see you for 10. Thanks to everybody and everybody that put down for this. Much appreciated. That's I, way beyond what I was expecting, man. Y'all came through. <sighs> yeah, I can, yeah, I can say what the past, it feels like the past three or four games, it's come down to Rock versus Sagat. Each yes. Time. And it's not like each one had, I feel like neither player really has a strong advantage right now. It's just, it just comes down to that exchange each time. Yeah, um, like uh, for these five matches, like Gao, Rock um, did a 
really nice, one, yeah, yeah, really nice lead against uh, Uabe Sagat. Yeah, but the Uabe is a uh, wall, still, still very tough. Yeah, e what what's impressive to me is mm. even through losses, Uabe is still very consistent. Yes, he's still very just adamant about his guard, yeah. his patience. Yes, w and the strong mind. Yes, that's that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, remember earlier, I was like, I feel like for this kind of set. First to ten in this game with Wabe style, I think that's so hard to play the way he plays. Just mentally, it's tiring. You get tired, mental fatigue, being able to play like that for so long. But he, he's, he's, he's shown he's just like it's nothing. He's just he's playing the exact same way. Okay, so let's watch final turns. Yeah, this is set point. Yeah, match point for the Uabe, but the... Uh, oh, swap. Yeah, Gao. Set yeah, let's see, yeah, let's see if Gao can come back from this. Little bit tough, but the... Uh, He's won three of the past four games. Yeah. If you're able to let that last game go, you know, he had a, a couple of, like, really, really close drops, right? Yes. If he's able to let that go and keep playing the way he's been playing, he can bring, it's not off the table, he can bring this back. Your shit. blood. This battle is about to explode. Fight. Fight. Oh, I see you coming through the skies. Cross up, hold this frame advantage. And wait. So oh, nice. The fierce anti-air. Yeah. JD's oh, yeah. activating. He know that. Wabi with the Abare though. No fear! Nice! Nice frame trap and uh, confirm! That's a, that's a kill. That's a kill. Yeah. In rage, like that? Off the frame trap? Yes. Big dub for Gao here. Go in the. He's versus Chun Li here. She's gonna have full gauge. He can get a little bit more mileage out of his geese and put himself in a really, really good position. Oh, also, Uabe has a nice frame trap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just a delay on the wake up. And that's unfortunate, too. Rage activated. Gonna lose all the meter, but. Yeah. That's okay. Live and yeah. Let die. Fight. Stay in media, let's shake hands. Let's get towards Roundhouse. Kabulu's turn. Oh wow. She built that meter very quick for that level one. Got the Ruru in rage. And Wabi just running away. Just, just, let me get out of here. I'm out of here. This dude's fighting me. There's, there's pigeons flying around. Oh wow. The move is loose. Tension. On set point, Cal fight for his life. Ooh, the jump ski. Oh, ah! that's really unfortunate. unfortunate. That's yes. a huge drop. Huge drop. It's a very rare. Oh, okay. Grab. Yo, Cal's still in yeah, this yeah, 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 yeah. Still have a chance. Still have a good chance. Comes down to this matchup again. Anchor versus Anchor Cow. Can you make it happen with Rock? Wow, is that Dante? I like that he knew he was going to hit too high to be able to combo, so he had to just defend on deck because he knew Wabi was going to match. Rage active. Just defend, just defend. Ah. Try to go for Reed, yeah. Yeah, but he has a, another meter for the comeback. One touch oh. away. This is for the set. Oh. Ah. And Wabe takes it. Yeah, it takes six. it. Yeah. Try again, Chief. Wow. Holy 
shit. That was a good set. <laughs> that was some nice CBS yes. too. God damn. Yeah, that was a really nice set. So here. Um let's get let's talk to uh first let's talk to players. Players, yeah. Yep. Okay. さん、ありがとうございました。ちょっとね、ま、なんか前半かなりうまくいきすぎて、ま、その貯金でなんとかうまいこと。一本先に取れましたって感じなんですけど、ま、ちょっとこれが 20 Okay, so Uwabe said to uh, Gao, uh, thank you for the match. Uh, he went well in the first half, so he was able to win the whole set. But it feels like uh, first to 20 or longer, he, did, he, did, he doesn't know who would win. So um, overall, it was a very fun match. And uh, if there's an event like this again, he would definitely uh, be grateful to uh, join in again. Uh, thank you very much. え、悔しいです。あの、乾杯です。So he's uh he's salty that he lost and uh it was a uh, a perfect match for um Uwabe. Boss, you want to say something to players? Okay. Nihongo dayo. もう、いいです。オッケー。えっと、ガオさん、ウアベさん、今回忙しい中、えっと、このような企画に参加してもらって本当にありがとうございます。えっと、ま、本当にすごかったです。えっと、最初本当にね、あの、ウアベ、ウ
fun match for the viewers to see. And uh, he, f he says that CVS2 is, is such a great game as well. And uh, next month, uh, they're planning to uh, run a uh, CVS2 uh, yeah, nationals. Nationals. Yep. Yeah. So, um, if you want to, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more um, CVS2 action, definitely uh, go watch that as well. And uh, and thank you, thank you for uh, watching. Thank you all for watching. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you for the support. Boss, you want to say something to overseas audience too. Oh, okay. Yeah, first of all, thank you very much for watching today. Yeah, um, I hope y you guys had fun watching super high level CBS matches. Yeah, and hope uh, some people have ex interested in CBS and uh, yeah, looking forward to play with you guys in the future. Unfortunately, because of uh, COVID, um, yeah, I cannot go to um, outside of Japan at this moment. But uh, yeah, if you, if I can travel in the future, like uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see you guys and uh, play some CBS and uh, get some drinks. So yeah. Um, by the way, my favorite drink is a 151. So <laughs> please remember. <laughs> please get please get that out let's let's fuck it up together <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway yes um thank you very much for watching today and uh, yeah thank you thank you boss thank you gotta you. you gotta plug your stuff man so if you guys watched this game and you thought it looked interesting you thought it looked cool maybe you'd like to try it I mean, you just watched two dudes who have been playing this game for 20 years. They're playing some pretty unconventional teams. These are both specialists that you watched today. But they showed off a side of the game that you don't really see too often at, at high level like that. So if you thought you saw something cool, head over to his channel. He streams on Twitch. He streams stuff to help people get into it. And, you know, like, free CBS 2, I can't put that on a T-shirt and sell it, right? But you can play this game right now. <laughs> and, it's, it's, and you can find people to play with No matter what level it is If you really thought it looked cool Give it a shot You'd be surprised You know, I know Hook and God said that The game not, got no guap It got no value But uh, what if it's just fun? Y'all mind if I boom out for a second? I, wanna, I got some shit to talk Yo, big thanks to Boss though Can y'all drop some hands in the chat First of all for Uwabe and Gal That was crazy Yep I'm, I'm, you know, you can't see on camera, but the emotions are run, still running kind of high in here. I'm, I'm going to put it that way. But uh, big ups to Boss, too. Boss picked this matchup. He said, you know, I sat down with him. I said, yo, I wanna, let's run some exhibitions, man. Let's bring it back because this is kind of a part of our culture, especially with arcades closing down. Uh, it's not really a thing. In, this is a part of the culture that I think you don't preserve this through shitty tier list videos or... Uh, shitty Twitter commentary videos and all the other dumb shit. You preserve this through this shit right here. Two dudes who play the game and just want to sit down and run it. So big thanks to Boss. You know what? We sat down and talked about it. This is what I... You know, I'm, for me personally, I'm really grateful that I got a chance to experience the arcade uh, vibe like that because it really is something that uh, like you'll never get again yeah. so for me I this is the way you preserve that to me this is how I want to present it that thing is gone but to me this is how we this is how we maintain I'll boom out a little bit more in a second but uh, boss was the one that came up with this matchup I was like we need some good CBS too right he instantly said, like, you got to put Gao in there. <laughs> you got to put Gao in there. He's too fun to watch. And uh, I think you guys saw why today. But uh, Uwabe was the other name that came up. He picked this match. Uh, you know, that's Mr. CVS too. So big ups to, to Boss. Drop some hands for him. Thank you, guys. 
And uh, I'll boom out in a second. Hold on. Let me uh, let me get the, these guys out of here. Uh, so, I, let me let me talk a little bit of shit. I'm gonna make it quick. I wanted to, I wanted to, I had an idea, something I wanted to say, but I'll uh, I'll, I'll bum it down a little bit. So, uh, <sighs> Kimono Michi happened maybe like a month or two ago when I saw some people in the West talk. You know, like here's the thing, right? The No Neutral guys, Brian F, Rob TV, nobody can say anything bad about those dudes. That's that's. That's my dudes over there, right? They're getting it done, doing their thing. But I saw when Kimono Michi happened, I saw some people in the West talking a little bit. They said, I think it was Rob TV that made the tweet. He's like, we need more fight cards with build-up. Uh, we need more exhibitions like Kimono Michi and all this other stuff. And it's not that like I, I saw it and got tight. It was more like, you guys gotta understand, like I see something like that and I it's more like I got I raise my eyebrow because we out here, bro. And the thing is, you can look back in the archives, we've been out here. Whether it was for Guilty Gear, BBCF, real GG, real BB, by the way. Y'all can have the strive, you can have the BB tag. Whether it was for Grand Blue versus Dragon Ball Fighters, Soul Calibur 6, Tekken 7, Street Fighter Alpha 3, CVS 2, NBA ACC. We out here. We've been out here. We went from Pseudonuma Game Ace Pseudonuma to Shinjuku Sportsland to Mikado. They kicked us. They shut us down, bro. They shut us down, so I took the cabinets. We went underground. We, we in a bunker right now, bro. We got grown men crying over video games in a bunker. Running sets. We out here, bro. We've been out here. So my thing is, to y'all, thanks to all the people that came through tonight, man. Y'all came through, y'all blew up the match Reno. Y'all came through to actually watch this shit. But my thing to a lot of y'all is, where y'all at? What are y'all watching? Where y'all been? Because we out here. Switch to the match arena. <laughs> hey, y'all blew it up, man. Thanks to everybody who put on for this. $2,267. We got this going to the players. We got this going to a uh, big one. One of the biggest arcades that's still holding it down. And I got some ideas for what we're going to do for ICFC Special Haru. When it comes to springtime, when it comes to summertime, Get at me on Twitter and tell me the kind of shit y'all want to see. I'll do my best, but I got some ideas. I got some stuff cooking. Hey, big, huge thank you. Slash put the coding together on the, all this last second. Uh, Kugi came through with the art direction on all this stuff. Wakamatsu-san is the tech guy. I asked him for help with all these, like, all these cooking up all the cabinets. He's the one that comes to the studio. He shows me how to do all that shit. We were able to hook it up. Uh, we had some audio issues at the beginning, but we quickly resolved it. I did not do anything to do that, uh, but thanks to everybody who came through. Uh, with that said, shit, Rayo, you got anything to say? Big ups to Rayo. Hey, yo, it was Rayo's birthday last weekend. Rayo put together that trailer. Uh, he did AD today. He was doing live translation. Can y'all drop some hands for Rayo? Can I get a happy birthday, Rayo? With that, 
Thanks to all you guys who tuned in from all over the world, from wherever you are. Much appreciated. I uh, I did not go to sleep. <laughs> I did not go to sleep. I just downed a monster and coffee and he said, fuck it, we're going with it. But I'm glad I did it. This is uh, These are always really fun. I like this because... Y'all can, look, man, y'all can have y'all's net play first to tens. Y'all can have you, you know, do what y'all do, man. Get, but this is, like I said, bro, we out here, bro. We out here. Y'all be good. Big thanks to everybody that came through. I'm going to catch y'all next time.